Something got into the bird's seed and something shredded a bag. Something tried to actually attack my bird. It pulled out several feathers. And we have evidence number one right here, which is the ruffled feathers. Like something was trying to get her. This bag has been entirely bit open. You can oh my gosh. Guys, look at that. There is a hole in the side of this lizard. Well, there's only one thing left to do. We've got to get to work. I've got to set some traps around the property. But We've got our supplies and we're ready to set our traps. We've got three giant traps right here. And we're just going to lift this trap door open and I'm going to put this all the way in the back. As soon as it puts any pressure on that ramp right there, the door snaps shut. So the only thing left to do now is we're going to go in, we're going to let the trap sit, and once it's been nighttime and all the predators are going to come out, and we're going to see if we can catch the culprit. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, well, I actually just wrapped up shooting today's video. It is absolutely insane. Basically, what is going on and what happened was I went to feed my birds yesterday. Something got into the bird's seed and something shredded a bag. Something tried to actually attack my bird. It pulled out several feathers. So, of course, we had to set some traps and we were very successful in trapping not one, but two culprits. If you guys want to see how the birds are doing, how we trap the culprits, what they did, well, you are in the right place and we are going to hop right into today's video. Good morning everyone. I actually was just outside doing my morning rounds feeding Rufus and I went over to feed my macaws and the one macaw, the one with the pluck feathers that my sister actually rescued, I went over there and the bag of seed that I had outside of the efficiency is completely shredded open. It looks like something bit into it. There's feathers actually on the ground, a couple of feathers. So I'm thinking, well, I'm not thinking. I know that some sort of an animal, whether it be a possum, a raccoon, a fox, something was here trying to get into the seed. Well, not trying. They, uh, Whatever it was was very successful at getting into the seed. There's seed absolutely everywhere. There's feathers like something was trying to attack my bird. I'm here now, and this is just uh, not good. Sorry for it being so bright. We're going to come around this way here, and we have evidence number one right here, which is the ruffled feathers. Now, this is not good because you can see how those feathers are completely ruffled like the bird was actually in distress. Are you okay? Obviously, I've already checked on her once I found all of this. We'll get to this in a second. We got to make sure the bird is okay. I kind of already came here, did a little showing of her. Now, again, guys, she is only in here temporarily because she's a very stressed bird. Hi. Hi, hi, you, you want to be nice? We don't want to stress her out too much. She, she's okay, she's eating, she's drinking, we don't want to bother her. The macaw in that enclosure there is an older bird. It's not mean bird, it's just very, very scared. When you get near it, it kind of huddles to one side. That's why I kind of have her in a smaller enclosure where she can feel nice and safe and something smaller. Sometimes when you give them just an absolutely massive enclosure, they actually get a little more stressed. She is actually going to be going into uh, that dome enclosure over there once it's done. But I've had her here, been monitoring her, seeing how she's doing. But this really concerns me with what I found right here. So let's let's come back to the evidence here. As you can see, there's seed everywhere and these feathers are ruffled like the bird was in some sort of distress when it was actually here last night. And look at this. This feather looks like it was broken. Now, obviously, this bird is plucking. So this feather right here might be a plucked one. But this right here definitely does not look like it because all of the feathers on her now look fine. And these are all ruffled like something was trying to get her. And if we come over here, look at this. I had a bag of seed that was sitting right here in here. And look at this. This bag has been entirely bit open. You can see where it looks like it was just completely chewed open. This is just not good at all. Look at the seed. It's just a total mess. It's just literally everywhere. Wait, I just, I just made it worse by doing that. Well, this seed, we're going to try to pile it up here. But as you can see, the seed is just everywhere. And look at that little lizard there. That's strange. Those lizards right there normally don't sit like that. Let's go take a look. These agamas are invasive and they normally, like I was saying, they run away. They're really fast. They're lightning bolts and this guy does not look good. Are you okay, buddy? Hey. Okay, this lizard is not alive. Okay, are you okay, buddy? Hey. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at that. There is a hole in the side of this lizard. 
this guy is seems like freshly you know passed away it's still it's not completely stiff yet he's very soft and it's just the morning time the sun is just rising some of this yard doesn't even have sun yet the sun is just coming up it's only 7 a.m right now oh my gosh this is not good guys do you see that hole right there it seems as if my worst fears are coming true Several months ago when I got the property, I was talking to my next door neighbor and in this video right here, we actually trapped a raccoon that was eating his chickens. He told me about it and that was before I even had any of my animals here. We were able to remove one raccoon and I have been setting traps periodically, but not consistently to get rid of these predators. And I, if I'm being honest, I haven't been setting traps in probably about a month now and it's showing that there's something here. Obviously, when you have animals and you're feeding animals and the animals are pooping, all of those smells are gonna attract animals. I live in the most rural part of Miami where there's still a lot of farmlands, a lot of dense trees, and where there's a lot of wildlife. I see possums, foxes, coyotes, raccoons, all kinds of stuff. So this is this has me stumped though because look at this lizard over here. This lizard should not, a raccoon or a possum, you know, I don't think would do this. I'm not sure what, what could have possibly done this to this little guy right here. Look at him. He's totally lifeless. I feel so terrible about this little guy. Well, there's only one thing left to do. We've got to get to work. I've got to set some traps around the property. But before we do that, we got to go check out the other McCall. We got to make sure he's safe. Rufus is over there. I see everything's fine with him. Nothing's really getting into Rufus's cage. It's literally a fortress. I'm not too worried about Rufus, but we gotta go check out the other McCall and make sure nothing was trying to get him. Hi there, hey, what's up, hey? So this guy right here is acting like he's stuck right now. Oh, you having fun swinging on your swing? Giving these, yeah, what's up? So giving these birds enrichment like a swing, coconuts, this is all the net, oh my gosh, did you just say, oh my gosh, hi. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Hey. Yeah, what's up, buddy? All right, this guy looks like he's okay. His under area looks totally fine, pretty clean. We're we're working, we're doing okay. Let's come take a look. You've got water, so his water's yellow because he put a pellet in there. Oh, you're having fun, buddy? You're having fun? Okay, you look good. I just wanted to come back to this guy one more time, make sure he's okay, make sure there's no blood because again, there were those feathers. You, can we be friends? Can we be friends? No, no, he does not want to be my friend. Okay, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. I will go. Here you go, buddy. There you go. But what I've got to do now is we got to go to the inside of the shed. We've got to grab three different traps and we're going to set them around the property and hopefully catch whatever tried to break into my birds. We've got our supplies and we're ready to set our traps. We've got three giant traps right here. So we've got all three traps stacked up. And we're gonna strategically place these traps. We're gonna put the biggest trap, which is the one on the top right by the bird cage because I think this was a fairly large predator. So let's get started with it. To get started, we gotta take some cat food. This is gonna be our bait right here. All, like, like I was telling you guys before, all predators love the cat food. Here we go. We got some cat food. You know what? Okay. okay like that <laughs> Zena just took some of our bait right now she thinks the cat food is just absolutely delicious that's some good stuff look we'll give you one more but all right no more for you we got to save this for the bait take a nice scoop of this cat food we've got the bait here and we're gonna get ready with trap number one we're gonna take this big old trap and we're just gonna put it literally right here this is where the bird was and we're just gonna lift this trap door open and I'm gonna put this all the way in the back but before we do that, this this predator came for seed. So we're gonna add a little bit of seed on top to go with the cat food. We're gonna give this predator a nice gourmet meal. This is gonna be his last meal here on the property. We're just gonna open it on up, just like this. All right, we don't wanna break the trap. This one's a little delicate, it's a little bit old. We're just gonna stick our bait right here, just like that. And then to set the trap, this trap was on the side of the road. It's a little bit busted, but it, but it still works. So we're just gonna take this lever here, pull it down, and we just have to barely put it just like this. Then there's this little ramp in here. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, we've done traps, you probably know how these work. Maybe you've used them yourself. So what is gonna happen? The predator is gonna She's letting me know she wants me to catch this predator, get him out of here. But like I was saying, the animal's gonna walk in, it's gonna go to this ramp right here. As soon as it puts any pressure on that ramp right there, the door snaps shut, slams shut. That is exactly what we want. So we're just gonna take this. We're gonna open it just like that. Just gonna... hey, hey, oh, hey, hey, hi, what's up? All right, this trap is set, ready to go. And now we're gonna place another trap all the way at the end over there. And then we're gonna put another one in the avocado grove. 
there's a good chance that this predator could have come from the field. That's the most rural part of the property where it's gonna feel safe and most likely where it came from. We've got trap number two ready to go and I've decided to put it on the other end. The bird is in the middle. We're gonna put a trap here. And the reason why we're gonna put the trap here is because I've got some of my water turtles right over here in these bins. I don't want this animal to smell some pellets, smell the turtles, try to bust try to break into there. So we're gonna set this trap here. So same concept, we're gonna take a scoop of bait just like this. We're just gonna put a little bit. Okay, we got our bait in there. Now this trap is a little bit different. This one is actually rigged up with a mouse trap. So we gotta be really tedious. We're gonna take this bar here, we're gonna pull it down, and then this wire and zip tie is actually attached to the ramp. Oh, I almost broke a finger doing that. Steady. Okay, we got it. This trap is set. Now we're gonna put this trap right here. We've got this trap set and ready to go and now it is time to set the third and final trap in the grove. And our third and final trap is set. I put it back here kind of in the middle of the grove. You could see where we're at and I kind of hid it in these bushes. So the only thing left to do now is we're gonna go in, we're gonna let the trap sit and once it's been nighttime and all the predators are gonna come out and we're gonna see if we can catch the culprit. The next day. Good morning everyone, it is yet another beautiful day here today. It's just sunrise right now and I couldn't resist at waking up at 6.30 in the morning to come and check the traps and trap number one by the bird is set off but it doesn't look like there's anything big in it. Maybe something just knocked the trap and set it off because you know that trap was a little bit rotten, a little bit rickety and look at that. Absolutely, there's nothing in the trap. Oh my gosh, there is. There is a rat. Oh, that makes perfect sense. The rat was chewing on the plastic bag over here. That makes perfect sense. Look at this little guy. Let's kind of open the trap up. How you doing, buddy? What are you doing, man? So rats are really a problem here for us. We naturally have rats here in Florida all over the place. And then when you start factoring in animal food, that just makes the problem a whole lot worse. We start having a lot of rats. Anyone that has animals in South Florida outside with food has a serious amount of rats. But that is the reality of keeping animals. So we got one rat right there. Not sure what I'm gonna do with him yet. I probably will just relocate him or I may actually um, feed him to my snake. I'm not sure. What is in here? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not even touched. Nice. Great. Well, it's actually kind of a good sign when we only have one animal and one trap. If all three traps were off, that would mean we got a serious problem. That would mean that we have got a lot of predators here. So given that that tr second trap was not set off, that's a, actually a pretty good sign. All right, we're approaching. And, oh, we've got a kitty cat. Look at that. Hi, what's your name, kitty? Hi, what are you? Guys, we just caught ourselves an extremely dangerous kitty cat. Hey, are you friendly? Well, I haven't seen any cats. I mean, I live on five acres here, so maybe my neighbors have a cat, I'm not sure, but this cat right here very well could have tried to get my bird. I've actually had a hawk try and fly into the bigger macaw cage. The... Were you trying to get my bird? Are you nice cat? Are you? I'm not sticking my hands in there. I don't know about you. You look like you could be nice, but you could definitely bite me. It makes perfect sense that the rat was the one that chewed the bag, and then maybe this guy is the one that actually... Wow, this is a heavy cat, man. This cat has not missed a meal. Wow. That is one heavy cat. This cat probably... Not probably. Most definitely is the one that attacked that lizard, and it makes perfect sense. Cats will actually attack lizards. I've had problems with stray cats in my neighborhood at my parents' house. You guys may have seen the videos, um, and we've had to deal with them. But what I'm going to do with this guy is I'm going to go to both my neighbors, both on both sides of me and in back. I'm going to ask them. I'm going to drive around and see if, you know, these guys are missing a cat. Maybe their cat got out of their house. I'm not entirely sure, but I will be sure to keep all of you updated. Wow, this cat is heavy and that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you did enjoy watching today's video where we set traps and trapped two culprits that were trying to attack my birds. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what should we should do with that rat. And comment down below where you think this cat came from. And guys, if you are not subscribed already, you enjoy the content, you want to see us trap more predators on the properties, you want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, well, what are you waiting for? Go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell, and you all will be notified whenever I post.